Well, good morning, little stumpsters. Tis I, the frozen one. Lovely weather here. No. Western Pennsylvania. It's about 38 or 9 degrees. Expecting snow at any minute. Been raining for three days straight. So anyway, just a real cheery day. But uh, I had a bunch of stuff skidded out here in stockpiles, so I'm cutting that all up. Um, these are grade saw logs going to the grade mill. Got some scrag over there, got some pulp over here, and here's some really nice, well, some of it's really nice. Here's some hard maple. Thought I'd do a little explanation on this here. So anyway, this is uh, hard maple or sugar maple as it's affectionately known in the Northeast. That is the, uh, it's the preferred species for uh, making maple syrup because it's got a higher sugar content in the, uh, in the uh, sap. So ideally I think you want like 40 gallons of sap to render a gallon of syrup, so it's still a lot. But like with red maple and other species of maple, the sugar content's a little lower. So it takes a little bit more, like maybe another two or three or four gallons to, I'm not sure about that, but we used to make it when we were kids up in Rhode Island with my grandfather who grew up in the Berkshires and they actually made money doing that. So here comes Jeffrey back, oh, cowboy. But anyway, I'll explain to you how this works. Or at least as good as I can. They are making uh, baseball bat blanks out of this stuff. So, these fresher ones now I just, uh, there you go. We just got back in the pulp now. I'll load him up again and get him out of here. Put out a shot. But anyway, these, these uh, what they're doing with these, they need at least uh three inches i think and what i think what they're doing is taking like a square you know they're sawing a square out of it you know a little billet if you will a can't and then they put it on the lathe and turn it so this stuff needs to have a small a small enough heart to be able to get a you know i mean you can see this one probably has a number of them in it this is the small end of the log so you know, you could picture a three inch square in there into the white wood without the sap getting into it. Without the, uh, the sap, but the, uh, like this discoloration, because that weakens the bat. So, like this, I put in this pile for him to look at because as long as he's got three sides, he'll buy the log. So, this would be, you know, uh, infiltrating this one side. but. The other three should make it. And then what I'll do is I'll leave them double length. And if he wants them, I will, uh, you know, if he wants them, I'll walk them back for him. You know, and if he might buy the second half of the log, he might not. If he doesn't, then we'll throw it into the uh, into the great saw log pile. But that's what's going on. I thought it'd make a neat little video. I'm gonna grab some lunch, and then I gotta load Jeffrey up. Actually, I'll load him first, get him out of here, so. Okay, guys. Ta-ta.